Think I'm more to the Minecraft found Jimmy Swift's skills will drive you wild From a treehouse to a city bank It's the Minecraft Files all day Alright, that was a good one. I like that one a lot. Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Files. It's Jimmy Swift here, and this is episode 93. And guys, this video actually might be a little bit short, or, or well, I shouldn't say short, uh, but probably on the shorter side in comparison to what you guys are used to, uh, because we've got really just sort of one goal in uh, this episode, and that is that we're going to be making some armor stands, which are brand new to uh, 1.8. And um, I've got sort of like this awesome set of boss armor here. Well, it's, yeah, it used to be kind of awesome. Now it's pretty beat up. But I want to put it on display, and uh, I might want to put, you know, some extra armor and stuff like that on display as well. Uh, the first order of business is to go to sleep because it is nighttime, and I actually realized that I also, oh, come on. You're like, right there um i also actually i uh, realized that i would really like to have a clock in this room um in like an item frame or something like that so i think the first order of business today in this episode is we're gonna do that so uh let me go make a clock making clocks are old school i still remember i played minecraft so long ago that i actually remember when like the recipe came out um everyone was like oh man like this is amazing, now we have a use for gold, and then you craft one, and it's like, well, nah, you just have one. But I'm gonna make two, because I have two in this world, so hooray. But uh, yeah, I still remember that. I like, I remember that very, very clearly. Um, make, making sort of my first clock, and I think it was probably even before I was doing YouTube, which is craziness. But uh, nonetheless, um, we're making one today. So, let me go ahead and make an item frame here, like that. And we'll run this bad boy upstairs, and that way, you know what, I always have one down here, but, right there, but uh, if I'm ever like upstairs, or I'm in my bedroom, and I'm just waiting for the sun to go down or something like that, um, I can look at one in my, my, my actual bedroom, which is pretty cool. So, what do I want, where do I want to put it? Maybe here? That's not, like, terrible, but I'm trying to think if like this would be better. I don't really know. I think that's, I like this spot a little bit. It looks cool. So anyways, all right, so let's get to crafting what we're here to craft today, and that is armor stands. Now, for the armor stands, um, I need to pull up this. There we go. Um, so these are created with sticks and stone slabs. So let me, um, let me see here. We need some stone, and I don't think I have stone slab. I do. Actually, let's just go ahead and use those. Let's say I don't think I have them, but I actually do. That's pretty sweet. So uh, I think those guys go in here. I don't need this anymore, and I don't need the carrots because um, we did get our rabbit's foot. So I can put the carrots away. Let's go and put those away. Uh, we'll put that right there. All right. So we got to find a home also for our rabbits. Rabbit hide, and there's nothing up there. Let's put that there. All right. So, the way that these work, let me get some more wood. Um, we need some more sticks. And basically, you put sticks in a pattern like this. Um, so you do this, sort of like an X plus one there. And then if you put a stone slab there, you get an armor stand. Now I'm gonna make like a couple of these. All right. And what I want to do is sort of place them in my um, in my house somewhere appropriate. I'm thinking I wish that, that would be moved. What is it going to look like there? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to um, test this out. So you basically just right click to put the objects on the um, armor stand like that. And that doesn't look that bad. I mean... I'm thinking I, I, w I wanted to have like one here because this is sort of like my uh, sort of like a special chest, you know, and we've got this armor chest here and stuff like that. Um, let me grab these and free up my hand. So I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if how do you break that? Okay. Oh, crap. All right. Oh, I'm bouncing. Oh, geez. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Sneak out of there. All right. Perfect. Um, we must repair the floor. Trying to find like basically the best spot to put this, right? Like that's really where I want 
you know, this episode to find success in that I put the... I need to put banners in here too, I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, I want to put like, you know, my armor stand, it's sort of like one of the best sort of spots. And, and every time I prepare for anything, a boss fight, an adventure, whatever, I come to this room. So I feel like it should be in this room, you know what I mean? Um, the balcony has no use, really, other than being a viewpoint for my farm, but maybe that is sort of like the best spot right here. Uh, what would it look like if we put it in front of the window, though? That's an interesting question. You ask? Let's see. Like, I mean, I don't care what it looks like from right here. That actually looks pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, sort of sitting between those two chests, you come up the stairs, yes, I love it. You come up the stairs and you've got this gleaming, beautiful set of diamond armor. Um, looking good, but check it out, we've got three more armor stands that we can use if we want to. Um, so this is gonna be the boss armor set, so I think we should signif uh, signify that with a sign. So we've got a sign, so let's go ahead and place a sign above that just says, Boss armor. And the reason it's called boss armor isn't because it's like, oh, that's so boss, that's that's crazy awesome, you know? It's because it's what I wear against a boss. That's sort of like the catch. Uh, so I might say boss armor and you might think, oh, he thinks that's, that's the best armor ever. It's not, it's just my best set that I end up wearing against bosses, basically. Make sense? Cool. Uh, holy smokes, this is from me like last Halloween, like last year. Um, I'm thinking, like, what if we had two armor stands here and we rocked like a set of leather on one that we could dye a certain color aha what if we dyed it like black because black looks cool right so what if we dyed like the whole armor set black and sort of oh no black's over here yeah but what if we dyed the whole thing black and put it on display. I think that would look pretty sweet. Because black does look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It, like, it's one of the cooler looking armor colors, I think, when you come to leather armor. So, we'll put this one there. Yeah, got, even got the little bit of brown to let you know it is leather, it is leather. And you know what? I'm just realizing, because of the mob loot that we had at the, the mob grinder, I would like to put some chain on display, some chain armor, because that's pretty rare, like that stuff is pretty rare. So I do have a couple pieces of it. Uh, let me see if I have any more. I don't have any here. Um, so we can, you know, we could either put like an iron helmet or a gold helmet or something. Um, but basically just kind of want to have, you know, some like armor on display, essentially. That's sort of like, sort of the goal. So we got some chain there. These ones happen to be enchanted. Um, now how do you, okay, this is actually a really interesting question. How do you repair chain armor? Is it with iron? I, I totally forget, totally forget. So we're gonna test this out, because I'm, I'm, now I'm curious. <laughs> now I am curious, I must know. So do you, I, th I think you might, but maybe not. Oops, this, this. Yeah, you, you can repair with, with iron. All right, that works. I don't even care. I mean, it's like, who cares if it's broken, right? But whatever, I wanted to do that just for the sake of the video. Um, so that's cool. So we've got a little bit, you know, enchanted feet there. I have another armor stand, but like, do I need it? You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I do. Um, this does, however, look quite a bit cooler. Um, can you put them on angles? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. That's kind of sweet. All right, give me that. So, thinking about that, coming into, well, that banner looks cool there, this little guy right here. Coming into the house, you know, what do I want to sort of be on display? Or even outside the house, I don't care. Like, we could put something somewhere, right? I feel like there's a spot somewhere here the outside, I do generally like the look of my front porch. It looks pretty sweet. Um, but I want to sort of almost utilize the corner a bit. It'd be kind of cool. Hmm. I'm running out, I'm running out of ideas. 
I'm at a loss right now. I'm at a loss. Up here is pretty, pretty populated. Let's um. Oh, there's a torch there. I can't put that there. Dang it, man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can put pumpkins on these, right? Uh, pumpkins. Where are you? Oh, that's jack o' lantern. No, I need a, I need a pumpkin. You know what? We've got pumpkins. They're growing in the field. Way out here at the pumpkin patch. Which I haven't been to in like a long time. I actually need to redo the path out, pathway out here. Maybe even redo the whole thing altogether. But that's a project for a later day. Okay. Yes. You can put these here. Okay. Hello, Scarecrow. My farm needs one. <laughs> so we're going to do that too. So we're going to, uh, we're going to, you know, utilize the pumpkin feature on these armor stands and we're going to make ourselves a little scarecrow somewhere out here in this field, which I think is going to be pretty cool because we weren't able to do this last year when we, when we first started up this world. So where do we want it? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, say right there, maybe, but maybe not. Um, thinking right here, this looks decent. All right, let's go ahead and angle this like that. Now we've got a little scarecrow. Now, if you guys have any ideas on how to make this more scarecrow-esque, uh, let me know. But I think for the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. But I mean, like, one of the other things you can add is like armor, right? So. I don't really know, but I think that looks kind of cool, you know? We've got this little scarecrow chilling out in the farm now. It looks different. We can always put another one like over there, down below. The sun is sun is setting. That means it's time to go. I didn't mean to rhyme there, but now you know. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit short, but uh, you know, I was checking sort of like a list today of things that were included in Minecraft 1.8, and I could not believe that I haven't done the armor stands yet. So I was like, I have to make a video on this right away. Um, and so I did. That, that, see, this, this looks cool here. I like this, this looks really cool. Like actually, you know, not expecting it, because it's brand new, coming out of these doors and seeing these guys here. I like the look of it. It looks very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, yeah, this window up here. I always forget that I have this here and it does, it goes nowhere. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Minecraft Files. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below to show your support. I will see you guys again very soon in the next episode. Peace. All right.